for NRG. It was confusing as to which roles each player decided to fill, but now things have been organized as we head into game number three, all tied up. Who's gonna take charge in the series? The only thing you worry about for NRG, they had as many saves as they had shots. That is not gonna be sustainable against this high power stepper offense. Here goes Justin. Oh, he lost it. Exotic's right there, and Squishy has to clean up the mess on the near side. Garrett G coming back as NRG was expecting to get out of the zone quickly, end up stuck in their own back line for a little bit longer. Chance here for Exotic. Justin able to get a nice save on that. Simper coming out very strong here in the opener of game three. But play getting a little devolved. That's pass two. Exotic has to stop Ooh. this one and does. Very aggressive challenge. Be one. Now looking the other way. You Going see for the a bump. demo. Can he get it through? Squishy able to make the save. In and out of his own net. Finds himself a beautiful challenge and a strong one at that. Wins the 50. Keeps his team alive. Still all tied up. Who will strike first now for NRG or Semper? It had been Justin going back to yesterday, scoring six in a row before Garrett G took over. Squishy yet to get on the board. No goals, no assist. Castillo right down in what front. Garrett G intercepts, and it's just a hair wide. NRG has been looking dangerous on the counterattack. There's Justin playing it high. Good touch from Castillo. Will send Squishy back a bit. He has Garrett behind him. NRG still looking for a way in. Maybe he's helped in here with Justin. Can he find the double? Oh. No. Chance for a follow-up. Garrett plays it low, and it's in! NRG score first in game three. A difficult one for Semper to read. Exotic was lurking on the backboard. He almost had the 50-50. He connected, but with all the force in the world, Garrett G just smacked him out the way. And it was crazy because he still kept boosting even though he was mid-flip yep. off the low yep. challenge. That gave him the advantage there to get the dunk on Exotic. Great work there on such a picture-perfect play for Gary. Justin looking for more as he gives this ball close and a good pinch way downfield. Squishy handles it easily. And now Shaw set up and around the boards, but Squishy again putting in all the work defensively oh. for NRG. And he's got an assist to go with it. Justin back on the board. Off of the passing play. You can see the sidewall. Squishy gets oh. the follow-up touch into the midfield. Normally you go for a shot, but Squishy says, Justin, I see you. Are you kidding me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The NRG, they've woken up. Three minutes left in game three, and they are giving us a show. Garrett G had had 100% goal participation before that beautiful feed from Squishy. Now Stepper moving quickly downfield. Maybe a little too field. quick for NRG. Popped up and Squishy's right there. The trio defensively on point for the general. And you speaking of Squishy, as another infield pass does come through out of Stepper, Squishy is always positioning himself after game one on the backboard. He's gotten much more defensive, and it's given him more chances to connect oh. passes on the transition. Here's a 2v2 play. All the players getting bunched up. Semper don't yield a, a, a result or even a goal from it, but now there's some space. Gary G could get a 1v1 play. He saves his flip, but doesn't use it, trying to fake out the defense. Josh that now right Ooh. at Squishy, who makes another save in that field general position way at the back. Able to see the whole field, send the ball out of harm's way. Exotic coming off the side, and Squishy's there for that one as well. Even though NRG are up by two, some of these counterattacks from Stipper have been very dangerous. That's a long ball down field. There's a couple of bumps. Who's going to take the shot? No one. Garrett comes in a little too late. He slows down Castillo, which buys time. But Chaucet trying to play it in front. NRG now trying to hold on to this two-goal lead. They're not letting Stipper get comfortable. Dangerous stuff from Stemper, and more specifically, Shaw said he got uh, bummed out the way, couldn't find any boost. Now he's left alone on defense. You gotta look at Justin going for the musty flick, didn't connect on it, but he's wasting more and more time. A minute and 15 to go, Stemper, two goals needed to get back into this game. If only there was someone who could teach him to be a little more consistent with his musty flicks. Here goes Garrett. Down to the side, Justin's waiting for it. He's still got Flip Garrett in the center. Took it himself. Garrett will come around. Double tap, oh. and it's wide. 
Grishy, it circles back. Justin cuts in front. And now here goes Cassio. Not able to hit Exotic. And he has to retreat very quickly. Exotic just getting back in the nick of time to keep this at least a game. A third goal here would be backbreaking for Semper as this is popped away. And Semper now have to go the length of the field and get two in the last 30 seconds. Cassio. Tries there. See Exotic still picking this up. And RG, Justin set in net as this one plays that off the side wall. That clear. Gonna kill a lot here. And Simper's momentum as time ticks down. 15 Simper. seconds. I mean, they played a very aggressive game. But NRG as a trailblaze downfield again. This will be another bump. But time has ticked down. And NRG have taken the lead in this series. And they do it off the backbone of Squishy. That man, as the third defender for NRG, was a brick wall. They didn't let anything through on the defensive side, was getting the reads, finding clears. And even when he does get those clears, it's not just to open space, Daz. It's directly to a player. Remember on that passing play that connected to Justin, the vision needed from Squishy to execute a play like that is top level.